Hi, today we are going to make a metal katana to celebrate the huge success of my wooden katana, which by the way almost has 100,000 views by now. It takes a lot of time, materials and effort, but I think it really is what these are the materials you are going to need. The blade will be made out of a metal profile, which has to be 25mm wide, 4mm thick and 1m long. Whilst working with an angle grinder, please use safety gear, such as gloves, earplugs and a breathing mask. The first step will be to bend the metal profile using a clamp like this. As you can see, this method works pretty good. Then draw the tip onto the metal profile, just like shown. I use a hacksaw to do the cut. Now it's time to bevel the katana. For that I'm using an angle grinder. As you can see, the sparks are white hot, so please wear safety gear. For the handle and the tsuba, which is the guard of the katana, we are going to use this template from my wooden katana project. Stick the template to the wood and saw it out. Then draw a line onto the blade, which marks where the handle is going to start. It has to be 23 cm away from the end of the metal profile. The area from the end of the profile to the line is going to be inserted into the handle, so there is no need to sharpen it as well. Take a 1.5 cm thick strip of metal sheet and bend it around the tsuka to make the fuji.
Now stick this template to the 6mm plywood. Now narrow down this slot to 4mm so that the katana fits through it. Now cut out this part of the used template. Stick this piece to the 1mm metal sheet. The piece we are going to make is called Sepper. After some filing, this piece should have a very nice oval shape. Now I use a blowtorch and a wire to give the sample a golden color. This part is completely optional, but looks very nice. Now draw a 3 times 6 cm wide rectangle onto the metal sheet and cut it out using metal shears. Bend this rectangle around the katana blade like shown. you've just made is called Kashira. I paint the Tsuba black, the Tsuka white and the Kashira Ghana black. The Kashira Gani is the end of the Tsuka. Then I cover the cashier with a piece of black fabric. Now secure the tsuba with some nails and wood glue. Now do the tsuka maki using some black fabric strips. This video gives you a pretty good idea on how to do this. There's a link to it in the description below. Give this higher an oval shape using rasps and sandpaper.
Your initials or some ornaments can really improve the look of the sire. Now, after countless hours of work, this beautiful project is finally finished.